Aquarius. Yes, indeed. Leaving these hoes delirious. What is going on with you, baby? Have you been behaving? Hold on, let me hear. Hmm? Have you been behaving? Huh? No? <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> let me stop. What's up, baby? It is Scorpion Reds Tevro. I am back at it one more time. One more again for you. One time. Yes, indeed. To let my Aquariuses know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2019. Yes, indeed. As you can see, we got a nice thick stack of new arrivals of some decks. Thank you guys so very much for showing up and showing out and sending love and support to Scorpion Fred's Tarot, honey. Thank you so much. Look what we got. We got the hip hop playing card deck the east versus the west rap quote debts shout out to my baby girl Callie we got the under the roses the norman deck which we will be using today y'all already know my gangsta ass Alice in Wonderland playing card deck yes indeed we have the genius musical deck y'all might have seen me use that in the collective and we will also be using today the oracle of visions deck so again if you guys send anything through the amazon wish list or even if you donate um you know and just send love um so if these videos resonate and you guys want to send support um and if you do send support just make sure that you send a quick note so i can shout you guys out and um show you some love or whatever and be able to connect with you so again thank you guys to everyone that's been sending support we love those decks and i know that you guys are going to love them the ones that we're using today um so again shout out to everyone that's been sending love light and support to the page if you want to um show support if these videos resonate give you any type of insight if you just want to send love or just say thank you um my contact information and um, um, my Amazon wish list and my PayPal as well as my booking and everything is in the about tab if you want to book with me what you need to do is book with me then link you click the booking link that says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me again it says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me then you link up with me um, you'll see my Instagram link directly under there you can send me a message there um, right after you link right after you book with me so we can link up on Instagram to do the video chat just send me a quick message say hey Rez this is so and so I booked with you on this day and time and you know we will connect there for your video chat if you don't have Instagram or prefer not to use Instagram you can connect with me on Google Hangouts it's an easy app to download um, only thing you need is my email which is in the about tab too which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. Just use my email, scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message and we'll link up there, okay? If you guys don't want to get on video or if you want me to video record your uh, reading session and upload a private link on YouTube so you can go back and watch the recording of your reading session, there is an add-on in the menu, which is called um, video recap slash direct upload. You can use that for that video recap and you can also use that if you don't want to get on camera with me for a face-to-face -face reading if you just want to send me your question pertaining to the um, selected reading that you purchased you can do that just be sure to only send me the question pertaining to the reading that you purchased don't tell me the information surrounded while you're asking a question because I don't want you guys to say I just told you that okay so just only tell me what you want to know we're gonna see what spirit has to say and we're gonna go from there okay so um, of course book and then link and again thank you guys so much for all the love likes and share subscribe and support okay so let's get into the guidance for my Aquarius all right <sighs> let me get a quick drink of some water you guys hold on Y'all got sauce all on me playing in the back. Sauce all on me. Y'all got that sauce all on you. Talking about, I got the drip. I got the drip. Ooh, sauce all on me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sauce all on me. All right? All right. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. You already know we party hard over here in the Aquarius region. You already know how we get down. You already know how we get down with my Aquarius, Father God. Thank you so much. For just having that. Listen, I'm looking at my candle and that flame is burning high, baby. You're reaching the sky. I'm talking about you. Yeah, you beaming out here. I feel like some of y'all walking around out here with that glow. 
some of y'all are definitely walking around out here with that glow Aquarius I'm um, listen don't leave them too delirious out here don't don't drive them too crazy out here um let me close my door because my kids is having it up excuse me Father God, thank you so much for the many, many blessings that you bestowed upon us. Thank you so much for the changes that you brought forth to us and showing us your power. Because we, we're actually seeing results in, in regards to a lot of our manifestations. And we are ready. We're geared up. We starting the summer off right and we're just ready to take off because the rest of this year is ours. Like legitimately, it's like the world is ours. Like that is how I'm feeling. I don't know, I think I'm a, I think I'm a title this, this reading, The World Is Yours, you know, like all some Scarface shit, you know, that globe that was spinning around and said, the world is, the world is mine, or whatever the hell that shit is, like, that's what I'm, I'm seeing in my head, like, for real, for real, but anyway, Father God, give us guidance for my Aquariuses, thank you so much for just elevating us, we on a voyage right now. We are on voyage, Father God, and you know, you seek and you shall find, and you ask and you shall be given, Father God. So we're asking you for the many blessings and for prosperity, love and light, and joy and happiness and peace and harmony in our life, Father God. Thank you so much for lifting us. Thank you so much for giving us the many gifts that you bestowed upon us, and thank you so much for the many more that you have yet to give us because they're coming in the future. Please give us guidance for Aquarius. Thank you so much. Would you lie? Give me guidance for my quarrels. My quarrels. Leaving them hoes blurs. Yes, indeed. Yes, ma'am. I do like a green eggs and ham. I think I do. I like shit a little different. I don't like what everybody else like. I like my shit a little different. I got exquisite taste around here. Ooh, assertiveness. Ooh. Holla at a bitch when she come through. Holla at a bitch when she slide through. Up. Oh, holla at a bitch when she come through. Up. Oh, holla at a bitch when she slide through. Up. Oh, holla at a bitch when she come through. Up. Oh, holla at a bitch when she slide through. Up. Oh, holla at a bitch when she slide through. Up. Oh, when she slide through. Up. Oh, <laughs> Listen, chorus. Y'all say. Burr, 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 burr. Respect a bitch when she slide through. Okay. I'm gonna need all my respect at the dope. At the dough. I'ma need all my respect at the dough and not on the flow, bitch. You hear me. Give a bitch some respect when she slide through. It said this is a situation that can be healed gently and with love. As you've requested. Yet there is also a need for your strength and your truthfulness with other peoples that are involved. We stand right behind you as you speak your truth. Give you strength and guidance in your words. Respect a bitch when she come through this motherfucker. Okay, what we hold on? Hold on. Ring the alarm and not a sound at night. Oh, hey. Ring the alarm. Okay, what? Ring the alarm. Somebody done. Somebody done did it. Who done did it, Aquarius? Somebody done did it. And you about to tell somebody the damn truth. Okay? Okay? Mm-mm. Give me guidance. You hear what's going on in the back? It's um <laughs> it's YG Big Bang. He said, he said, he said, um, if you don't help your man, don't talk to me. If you something, 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 don't talk to me. <laughs> Night of Wands, like I'm trying to tell you, you guys is list. You taking your guard down and you like, I'm not about to keep keeping myself guarded and reserved with somebody and stuff like that. Nah, nigga, you want to fight, nigga? Okay, we going to fight. We going to fight one more game. You think you going to keep sneaking away? You think you going to keep getting away with this bullshit and this trickery and this malice behavior? Okay? You're having malicious behavior. You think you're going to be slick and you think that I'm just going to sit by and not say nothing. Because I done been through all of this arguing and fighting with you. You think I'm tired. A bitch ain't tired. A bitch stay ready. A bitch will twist you up like spaghetti. Okay? You understand? Okay? 
Four of Wands. Okay? This is someone here that is not happy about commitment. They don't feel like um, the structure around them is a safe haven. Okay? Motherfuckers try to sneak out. Nigga, don't sneak out. Speak out. Don't sneak out. Speak out. Okay? What you sneak around for? What you doing it for? What you doing it for there, Cletus? You ain't got to lie, Cletus. What you sneaking for? You think you won't keep getting that on over my head there, didn't you, buddy? Well, I, be like, I reckon. I reckon I ain't no spring chicken. I reckon I got this age on me for a reason. Now, don't you think so? Think you're going to keep... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll put my motherfucking guard down on. Yeah, I will put it down and I will crack you right upside your head with one of these motherfucking wands. I sure will. I sure will. Think you're going to break my foundation, do you? You think you're going to give me strife? You think you're going to give me trouble? Huh. Huh. No, you won't. Give me guidance. Give me guidance about this four wands in reverse. Give me guidance about this four wands in reverse. This looks like a divorce. This is like dismay. This looks like something being dismantled. Destruction. Oh, the queen of swords. Yes, indeed. Did you come through for the one time, for the one time? And you said, bitch, respect a bitch when she come through. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all just said, I don't give a fuck. You want to go, bitch, go. What is going on here, Aquarius? Because y'all listen. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And two queens. Three of Swords. Ooh, so it's an Aquarius man. They got two queens. Or it's a man that, that, that got two queens here. They got Aquarius right here. And then you got old Queen of Wands right here. Uh-huh. And you got the tower in reverse. So you got three of swords and the tower in reverse. Someone trying to, you know, avoid a disaster here. And then we got the Princess of Wands. So we have three women. Hmm. I get you. I am reloading. We're pushing this back up here because we're going to get this right the fuck one together because someone is being a nasty little slut monkey. Someone is being a nasty little slut monkey, aren't you, buddy? Aren't you, buddy? Whoever the fuck this is, I don't... Because I feel like Aquarius is just one of the women that is in this mix. Somebody that Aquarius is dealing with, Okay? You're going to have to be assertive with this person. Like I said, you're going to have to let this motherfucker know. Respect a bitch when a bitch come through. You think that... You, no, 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 no. You think that I was going to put down my guard and continue to let you just run and wreak havoc all around? No, 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 no. You're not going to continue to get away with this lies and manipulation and trickery. I know what the fuck you're doing. I know what you're doing. You're trying to act like you're committed with me, but you're not. You broke our commitment, and I'm going to break you, bitch. We're over, just in case you didn't know it, okay? No, because you can have those bitches. Understand me clearly. I don't want to be nowhere where I ain't wanted, okay? And your, your presence is not required or desired at this point. Because I don't like sneaky motherfuckers. Do you understand? If anybody going to be sneaking, bitch, it's going to be me. And I ain't got to sneak around a motherfucker because I pay the cost to be the boss around this bitch. Do you understand what I'm saying? What the fuck I'm going to sneak around my own shit for? Nigga, one thing that you can do though, while you're sneaking around, please pick up your toothbrush, your, your, your brush, your comb, your whatever you think that you listen. Mm -mm. What the? You ain't even, look, don't even sneak and steal. You know what I'm saying? You know how motherfuckers try to be petty and try to take shit that ain't theirs. No, you ain't even got to. No. What, what is it that you want? What you want them head? You want them beat headphones? You know what? Take it. If it makes your heart feel good, if it makes you feel more desirable, if it makes you feel good about yourself, because you know you didn't pay for it. You know you can't afford it. You know what? That's a parting gift. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. 
Don't sneak and hide and do nothing. What you want? Take it and get the fuck out. I will see you in divorce court. It's cool. Because one thing you're not going to do is have me in nobody's STD clinic. Okay? Because you over here with uh, uh, Leisha, Tisha, Tawanda, Wanda, Renee. Honey? Uh-uh. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. One thing I ain't got no problem doing was is cutting out somebody that don't that's showing me that they don't want to be here. And if you don't want to be here, I don't want to be here neither. Bye bye, bye. Ba -ba -ba -da. Respect a bitch when you see me. Let them other mad ass hoes, cause this bitch mad. This the one that's mad calling my phone. This is the one that's mad calling my phone. Oh, I'm trying to come to you as a woman. You know your man was with me. Yeah, bitch, I know he was with you. The whole time you mad about me but you don't even know about her you understand what i'm saying so yeah bitch i know he was with you and i know that he was with her too honey but i bet you didn't know that honey do a little bit more research because your man is not with me he will be with me in divorce court though and he will be with you in the std clinic because this little hoe right here yeah uh-huh she's young and she's nasty and bitch you're a nasty little slut monkey yourself all of y'all nasty so get the fuck off my phone, you peasant ass bitch. Okay? Go find the other little bitch that he's fucking with. And y'all go find somewhere to fucking play. And get the fuck off my phone with this dumb ass shit. Okay? What you thought you... Listen. Don't come to me as no woman about no third party shit. Because you gonna get cussed out and you gonna get your feelings hurt, honey. Aquarius don't give a fuck. Know me. We cut hoes for a living. Don't play with me like that. Don't ever fucking call my phone again. Okay? Because at the end of the day, from the looks of you, bitch, you ain't that much of a woman. You a queen of wands in reverse. You're a whore. You're a weekend whore. Okay? You're a secondary slut. You ain't a woman at all. So don't come to me with no, I'm trying to come to you as no woman. Bitch, you're not a fucking woman. You're a fucking sideline hoe. Okay? And let me bust you down a little bit more sweetness. You wasn't even the leader, okay, in regards to the motherfucker. Bitch, you came forth to her. <laughs> I'm avoiding all of y'all. Like the plague. Fuck all of y'all. Don't call me no more. You stupid fucking bitch. You, him and her can go somewhere and go play and jump the fuck off a mountain, bitch. Call my fucking phone again. Fuck is wrong with you. Tuh. Tuh. And after I finish taking his money. Okay. <laughs> Y'all must not know who the fuck you playing with. See, Aquarius, see, no, 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 no. See, y'all don't got me in my shit today. Like, Aquarius, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And little girl, we didn't even get to you because you're not even worth us talking about. You're not even worth us talking about. You don't even know how to ripe your pussy correctly yet. You too young. We can't even, we, we, we can't talk to hoes that, that, that's too young and don't even know how to wipe right. Girl, you still out here trying to figure, you trying to figure your life out. You still out here trying to figure out how to balance your pussy right. Girl, no. Mm-mm. Girl, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I don't need no game code below, but remember dust down bus hoes like you. Mm -mm. I seen bitches like you when I was young. Uh-uh, no, no little rat hoes like you. Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. Mm -mm. You can sneak right the fuck one out the door with all, with all tree. Okay? The all tree. Give me guidance because they got me on 10 right now. Aquarius, y'all already know I don't play by my Aquarius. Y'all already know. Look, who is it? Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. The right direction. Set your course. Set your course. Listen to me. Tuh. Tuh. Y'all say it with me one more time. Tuh. What? Set your course, baby. Have a direct plan of action. Execute that shit and get them done. Get her done. 
Get them the fuck done, Aquarius. This means know where you wish to go in life. Set your goals. Write a wish list of accomplishment. Realizing that you bring your dreams into reality, you need to know what it is you want to do, be, or create. The refusal to be with to float up, to be floating around any longer. Striking out. Yeah, stri striking out the best direction for you. It's just like you just not floating about, just like allowing just shit to happen. You are being assertive about what the fuck is going on. You are making an announcement to any fuck dumbass person around this bitch that don't understand who Aquarius is and how the shit run around here. Just in case you forgot. Mm hmm yeah and I and I want to point out as well this might also be someone because I don't even see any men up here this might see be someone that's in a third party relationship where it's like with you know like a lesbian relationship here I'm also seeing that as well ah, what am I doing clarify set your tone and set your course Know where you wish to go, have a plan, and write direction. I said, I know exactly where the fuck I'm going. Write the fuck one out of here. I ain't got time to be dealing with all these dumb bitches. Two. Two whore ass bitches. Excuse me, because I'm sorry, that Queen of Wands, she's a fucking whore. Just nasty. Just out there. Promiscuous. A promiscuous woman. That's what I'm getting from that Queen of Wands in reverse. She's catty. You know what I'm saying? She always got something smart coming out her motherfucking mouth. And a bitch be running around. And don't care. Almost has a pride about it. Like, I'm that bitch. Because she's pretty and she's attractive. She thinks she cute. But your reputation ain't cute though, sis. Your reputation ain't cute though. And this is a Sagittarius, a Leo. Or motherfucker on a Aries. Alright? So, set the tone. Two of Pentacles. You say, uh-uh, somebody got to go. And let it be me. I'm just going to exit stage left the fuck up out of this situation. Because guess what? What I told you from the beginning. I don't want to be nowhere where I ain't wanted, bitch. And it's too much shit going on over here. Y'all hoes make me itch. I'm just going to exit stage left. Temperance. I have faith, hope, and I have balance. Motherfucker, I love myself too much. Too much. To be an option for anyone. Honey, please. If I ain't the only one, I am no one to you. Okay? I got a choice to decide if I want to grow taller or smaller. And I won't shrink down to no level. For no bitch. I will stand over y'all head and step on you like an ant. Bitch, you better go on somewhere. Please go on somewhere. The Ten of Wands. You are nothing but a motherfucking burden, bitch. A burden. A burden. Mm-hmm. A burden. Something I would have been carrying forever if I'd have kept dealing with you. And like I said, I'm just going to grow taller, not smaller. Taller and not smaller. And recognize the burdens that I was carrying around. And I'm unhinge myself from that shit. Feel me? Because this is all about divine timing. And you know what? Certain barriers and certain blockages are meant for a reason. So if the relationship didn't go as far as you wanted it to carry... As far as you wanted to carry it, it's because you were carrying it by yourself. Because this motherfucker was doing other shit. Wasting your time. Someone took their time back. Someone took their time back. Uh-huh. And as soon as you take your time back, there's going to be rapid, fast communication. Look, shit going to start popping off for you rapidly. And I mean Fast, honey. You got a knight of cups coming right up under this motherfucker. You got another man coming up behind you. When I'm trying to tell you, he bought that action. And this is a smooth operator. This one, he going to give you his heart. He going to show you. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
very generous, very kind, very loving, very nurturing. And this person is going to show you. <laughs> Things might move very fast with this situation. So you might just go ahead. Listen. <laughs> you ain't even going to have to worry about nothing. Plan accordingly. Plan ahead. Plan in the right direction because you're moving in the right direction. You're moving in the right direction. And honestly, that ten of wands right there, I'm really taking that as y'all are moving. Like y'all moving out and y'all are just packing and y'all just carrying everything. It's like you carrying everything back home that you came with. Because at the end of the day, these, whoever this was that you were dealing with, they ain't give you that much to begin with. You understand what I'm saying? So I could definitely see you packing up all your stuff and leaving and moving somewhere else. I definitely see that as movement. I see that as movement. For that card, for this deck, for me, for this reading, I take that as someone packing up and moving because it's a waste of their time. And as soon as they pack up and move, they're going to get a whole bunch of goddamn communication. Motherfuckers going to be like, oh, Aquarius single? Indeed I am. To indeed I am. Oh, I got time because I made room. I made space and I made time, honey. To to uh uh no mm mm I don't make time for hoes that are beneath me. I'll step on you. The fuck out my way. The fuck out my way while I'm moving my shit up out of here. The fuck out my way, bitch. Wasting my time. You're wasting my effort. The fuck out my goddamn way. And don't call me. Cause I got other motherfuckers calling me. Don't nobody got time for this shit. What's wrong with y'all? Give me guidance for my Aquarius. Cause y'all got me lit on this one, y'all. What? I already told y'all don't be playing with my Aquarius. We be cracking hoes in the mouth around here. <laughs> Aquarius like to crack hoes in the mouth. I promise you, man. Aquarius like to play cute and quiet and stuff. That's all. What the five? Look, five of spades. It said I heard the queen say yesterday. Uh, I heard the queen say only yesterday you deserve to be beheaded. I heard the queen say only yesterday that you deserve to be beheaded. So it's like motherfucker. Only yesterday I was I was literally about to stop. I was about to just yesterday just stop fucking with you. Just yesterday, I was talking to my friends, and they told me, like, Slim, you know so-and-so sneaking around with baby girl? Like, yeah, I already know about her. I already know about her. But do you know about this one, though? Someone needs to smack the shit out of cuz. Because this motherfucker just getting out of hand. So, like, Aquarius is having people come to them telling them about stuff. That is not necessarily good information about the person that they've been dealing with. And, like... Aquarius is realizing, man, oh no, this got to change. Mm hmm. Yeah. You're gonna make m rapid movements to fuck up all my goddamn shit. Mm hmm. Because just yesterday, my friend was trying to tell me I should smack the shit out of you. And I didn't listen. And I didn't listen. Oh, but well, honey, you can get smacked today. You can get smacked today. You can. Let a bitch call my fucking phone one more time coming to someone as a woman. You better tell your bitch and she gonna get you fucked up. Never spade. Death card. Death for new beginnings. New blessings. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Because we smack hoes around here. We smack hoes. This says, who am I? Will I remember if I can't? Listen, I was just like, I don't even know who the fuck. You put me in a position with this bullshit here. You you take me to a place where I, where I step outside my body, okay? And you make me step into the danger zone, okay? What's that? What's that? What's that on um, my kids be watching SpongeBob? It was at this moment that they fucked up. It was at this moment. It was at this moment, okay, that Aquarius said, hold on, let me assert myself around here because they must, they must have fucking forgot. It was just yesterday, my friend said, the motherfuckers like you should be beheaded. And you still playing? You still playing? Oh, okay. I can show you quicker than I can motherfucker tell you a goddamn thing. Give me one more card. 
What is up? And then now you calling the fucking authority on hoes. You calling. You calling your people. Like, help these motherfuckers about my shit. Okay? Come help me get my shit. And I need you to just stand here and have my back. Just in case I need to pop a bitch in a fucking throat. Just in case a bitch acts stupid. I need you to just stand here and have my back. And watch me as I get my shit the fuck up out of here. Or watch it as these people get their shit the fuck up out my shit. Look, this says, their heads are gone if it pleases your majesty. Okay? Tuh. This your backup coming through. Watch out. Respect a bitch when she come through. Watch the fuck out while I get my shit the fuck up out of here. It was just yesterday motherfuckers told me I should smack hoes like you. It was just yester fucking day. Just yesterday, my nigga. Now, let's verify this just to see if, if I'm hitting on something, her. Let me just let me just verify and clarify if I'm hitting on the one with these cards. Because, you know, I'm just going off my intuition because, you know, I be intuitionizing. And I know there ain't no word, but, bitch, just roll with me. Because, you know, I be intuitionizing. I be using my intuitions. You know what I'm saying? I be using my intuitions, girl. You know what I'm saying? This five of spades is traditionally a card of anger and loss. From an older symbolic meaning of a hand holding a knife, feeling like you got stabbed in the back. The five of stage, uh, spades can denote the cutting of someone. Didn't I tell you that? I, didn't I tell you that? Of course, like to cut people and smack hoes. I told y'all. Uh, the five of spades can denote the cutting of someone. Or someone out of one's life. It can also denote a surgical d procedure. A divorce. Quitting. Leaving. Going at it alone. Loss. Fear of abandonment. Loneliness. Depression. Separation accompanied by pain. Grief. Sorrow. Tears. The left hand. The left handed. The left path. Didn't it tell you to figure out which path you're going to? It was just yesterday. Hoes was telling me I should smack the shit out of you. If you don't listen, if you don't get all the way the fuck, and I mean smooth the fuck out my way right now, Slam. Because listen, the Ace of Spades is the traditionally the death card, but rarely means physical death. Death and rebirth, ending and new beginnings, transformation, a major life change, the skull, the mind, important decisions that bring change, worry, and anxiety. Okay? Like, Aquarius is like, man, listen, I'm about to forget who I am. I'm literally about to have an out-of-body experience. Please get out the way. Get, I just, I need you, I need you, I need you to just remove yourself from me. Let me finish packing my shit and let me get the fuck up out of here. Let me finish packing my shit and get the fuck up out of this house. Don't say nothing to me. I don't want to hear, but, but, d -d 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 don't say shit the fuck to me because just yesterday i wanted to lay hands on you for real because you got bitches calling me you got mm -mm, you doing too much i'm done i'm done i'm done wrap it up i'm done wrap it up wrap it up listen let me call my brother and um just in case you want to get smacked today let me hurry up and get my shit the fuck up out of here let me call my brother and um what'd he say um, their heads are gone if it pleases your majesty. I know. Let me call my crazy ass brother because y'all got me fucked up right now. You got me fucked up. Um, the Jack of Clubs, hardworking, honest, sincere young person. He's a busy, an active person. Most often a male. Clever, enterprising. He enjoys sports. Yes, he enjoys sports. Community football, baseball, soccer. He can represent an employee, often denotes a young acquaintance of work. He could be a close friend or a business associate who is going to be useful to the inquirer in some way. He may wear a uniform that symbolizes his work rank on the uniform. And as you can see, this is a soldier. Could be the police. I don't know. <laughs> But it's somebody that is literally saying, yeah, look at just, I just want y'all to look at what this is saying. I heard the queen only say just yesterday, you deserve to be beheaded. And then it says their heads are gone if it pleases your majesty. 
So whoever this is dealing with this Aquarius and this Aquarius is having this breakup, this divorce with, this separation, Aquarius is moving out of the house. Because I think Aquarius is moving out of the house. Because Aquarius said, what side of the game do I want to be on? I believe in myself. I love myself too much to put myself through this shit too. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Let me unhang myself from this situation. I done seen every motherfucking thing I needed to see. Aquarius was able to see shit from a different point of view, from a different angle. They had an outer body experience. They weren't able to look at their experience, their, their situation from the outside looking in. And they said, I'm better off the fuck by myself. And I'm about to assert myself and ring the alarm. And get the fuck up out of here. And as soon as you do, wrap it to Communication. New beginnings. Just like that. What is this? Whoo, honey. Mystery. Mystery. You'll never know what's on the other side if you don't take a risk. You know what I'm saying? And I really do feel like... I really do feel like... <sighs> This was a situation where it's like you had to kind of search and go looking for the answers to what was going on in this situation. And I feel like right before you crack the code, because as you can see, this is someone trying to maybe break into a phone, break into some type of storage by somewhere where it's like some type of secret information i feel like right before you almost figured the code out you ain't even need it because the information came out to you because this person called you coming to you as a woman <laughs> and this is like i want to say this person tries to come to you as a woman. And you can tell that she's bitter and mad. But you're emotionally cold. You're curt. You're uh, with it. And it's like, I want to say almost like this one calls you fishing for information. Because you remember when I was going off, I was saying something about this one over here. But this one didn't know about that one over there. But you live with this person. You're in a committed relationship with this person. So you know all about all of the sneaking around and everything that this person was doing. This one was on the outside just thinking that they only had to worry about you. They didn't know about this one. And you have information now. You have all this information in your head and somebody wants this information. It's some information that you've obtained. It's like awareness. It's like you're aware of something. It's like you know the code to something. You know how to open this box. And it's like you got this information to the mysteries that's in this box. How to open up this box. And it's like you're holding on this information. Like you're not telling anybody what you know. I also feel like it's something. It's either something that you don't know. Or it's, some, it's something that you know. That motherfuckers is trying to get out of you. Or it's something really serious that you don't know. That someone's holding back from you. Uh-uh. Give me guidance. Oh. What was this? Take more tea. Just travel. Yeah, that's another movement card. This is another card of someone moving. It's a nine of um clubs. It says take more tea to March here. Said I haven't ha I have I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. Take more tea, the March Hare said. I've had nothing yet, so I can't take more. So it's like someone trying to force feed someone something that they're not accepting. 
they didn't accept this. Whatever it is, it's not being accepted. But give me guidance. Give me guidance right here in regards to this mystery box and someone holding this information. It's like they holding the books. It's like they holding back information I want to say about money. I don't know. Give me information. What are they hiding? The Jack of Diamonds. I'll see you safe to the end of the woods. The Jack of Diamonds, that represents money. It, it represents communication in regards to some type of access. To access or assets. Assets. Information about assets. The seven of club of of, of yeah of clubs. Twas brilliant and the slivious trolls did griver the gimbal in the guab. I don't know what the fuck this means. I, and I feel like the fact that I don't know what the fuck this means. I feel like the code to whatever this is, it's, it's like, y'all look at this card. Can y'all make out what the hell this means? How to pronounce them words and then tell me what the fuck they mean. No. It's like a mystery. It's some type of passcode. It's something. What is this? The king of clubs. It says don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. Why the fuck would the king of clubs say that? Say that? The ghetto red hot is playing in the back. They just robbed a bank in the video. I'm sorry. Something told me to focus on this video. This person isn't like an enforcer. The king of the king of clubs and the king and the queen of clubs. He's saying, "Don't be nervous, or I'll have you executed on the spot." She's saying, "Curtsy while you're thinking what to say. It saves time." Something here where someone is being enforced. Like, watch what you're saying. I'm going to escort you to the end of the woods. It's something about. It's some secrecy about. What is done in this home. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Because I feel like it has something to do with. It has something to do with. Okay. I'm sorry you guys. I'm sorry. Cause now like, I'm just like, what the fuck Mo? Cause like what I'm getting is like crazy. It's like something hitting secrecy, confidentiality, confidentiality. Like I said, they're like, I'm gonna walk you like whatever. It's like, you could leave, but I'm gonna see you to the end of the woods. And then this person says something to you in gibberish as like some type of cold word. To kind of let you know, whatever the fuck you seen happen here, you better shut the fuck up about it. And you better hold on to whatever secrets. Like, I don't, were y'all fucking with some type of gangster or something? Or like, somebody was fucking with somebody that there was a lot of, you know, a lot of information. And it's like, I'll let you leave, but you better tread lightly and you better watch what the fuck you saying about what's going on or what was going on here about this relationship or what was going on behind the closed doors of this relationship in this house. Like whatever it is, it's just like somebody don't want other people to know. I don't know if it's because this was a lesbian affair or something like this. 
but someone is being escorted out and being spoken to in some type of pig Latin or some type of other language or something where they're letting me where they're letting them know let me walk you out of here so I can make sure that you don't be running your mouth you understand it says secrecy from the from the clandestine world of espionage to the privacy of our personal inner thoughts we attempt to keep our own secrets but seek those of others any sharing of any confidentiality requires a demonstration of trust whether it is between nations corporations or intimate family and friends in the context of human relationships our curiosity or need to know may be for self-interest or the desire to help others to achieve other will require a key that in turn provides access to the information we seek. It may be facts and figures or simply better understanding of the circumstances. Such information may be provided freely by those who control it or withheld until we have proven ourselves. These keys may take the form of the most complex and cryptic puzzles or passwords, but also a simple, can you trust me? gesture offered to a troubled friend in this card the guardian is herself symbolically an oracle she possesses the answers you seek and can provide you with the key to access them but before doing so you may have to prove that you are ready seeking greater truths even those of self-discovery offer often requires demonstration of worthiness So like I said, Ava, this is one of the slides coming to you as a woman and you got some information and you're going through a divorce or you're leaving this person or whatever and you got some information about the other woman or something and you said it by a slip of the tongue just by talking shit and now this person, mine is going, they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And you like, ah, bitch. Don't worry about what the fuck I'm talking about. Are you even worthy? You ain't. Why the fuck would I tell you anything? You know what I'm saying? It's either that or y'all leaving a relationship with somebody that was into something. And they like. Watch your mouth about who you telling about what goes on in this house. You're privy to information that. Only reason why you know is because I trust you and you were my girlfriend and you were my boyfriend. But I promise you, if I hear any fucking thing, it better not be no slip of the tongue. Part of possession, this means knowledge, research, knowing the facts, being prepared, being prepared, forewarned. I told you this says for, I knew this meant that, young. It says forewarned. Part of processing and accessing a situation is the use of intuition and psychic gifts, but some circumstances may merit more analytical approach. Being better informed and armed with greater understanding of the facts are and backgrounds to any situation may provide a stronger basis from which you can make better decisions. It appears this character in this scene has dedicated the nece necessary my goodness necessary due diligence and is armed with a substantial amount of information but therein is a question of how much may be too much one can be overwhelmed and tied down in detail suffocated by the volume or unnecessary diversions at risk of overanalyzing or not seeing the forest from the trees Huh. 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 Anyway, like I'm saying, some of you guys are, are being forewarned here because I, I most definitely strongly feel like some of you guys are privy to some information about something that's going on in someone's personal life and how they get money or something. And they're like, you could go, we ain't got to be with each other no more, but you better keep your mouth closed about what, what goes on in this house. 
the Jack of Diamonds, a person of Avisax, a sex, often a male, intelligent, energetic, dynamic, a student, relative by marriage, the start of a financial venture, a written message, a message about finances, a financial statement, a check, a receipt, a transfer of money, messages from your spirit guide, a place of higher learning. And it says, I'll see you to the safe end of the woods. Like I said, something about that is concerning me. And the fact that this person is speaking in some type of pig Latin or something. And this person is like trying to. You see, it's like they're trying to put words together. They're trying, you know, understand what I'm saying? I swear, like, I swear I'm getting that so strong. I'm getting that so strong. I just want you guys. When you leave, just be careful of what the fuck you say. Because I feel like you guys may make a threat out of the slip of your tongue. And then this motherfucker may grab you by your arm. Just like, yeah, let me fucking talk to you real quick. Okay? So, the seven of clubs. An increased activity and change in business or social situation. Physical or mental effort, including hard work in the house or home repairs. Or even fixing a car. Attention to detail. Carefully evaluating the situation before making a decision and taking action. Keeping busy. Risk of work overload. The need to rest and relax. Preoccupied with work. The card of a workaholic. Negotiation. Disagreements and argument. Or feelings of restlessness and discomfort. Taking on too much. Making the best of a difficult situation. Okay? So like I said, this is changes in your social situations and physical or mental effort in the yard, in the house, in home repairs. Do you understand what I'm saying? So like I said, something is being cleaned up in this house. Something is being cleaned up in this house. And this king of clubs is saying, don't be nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. I feel like as you're walking past police or something, like this person is telling you to don't be nervous, like don't look nervous. Walking by these people of authorities. Like I told you, didn't someone call authorities up here? It's like walk past these people and you better hold tight to this information and you better fucking guard my secret and keep it cute. You better keep it cute. Like, I swear, I, I don't know, young, listen to me. The King of Cubs is a generous, enthusiastic, socially active man. He's an excellent businessman. Very good business sense. He may own his own business. He may be a successful entrepreneur, a business executive, a college professor, a professional athlete. He could be a male colleague or a business associate. He could be the seeker's boss or best friend. He's a reliable friend, a trusted advisor. He is genuinely a married man. Oh. Oh, so, so okay. And then the queen of clubs. Mind you, see saying curtsy while you're thinking what to say. It saves you time. This man is saying, be careful what you be careful and don't be looking nervous or I'll have you executed on the spot. And then this woman is coaching you saying to be to curtsy and think while you're curtsying so you can think about what you're going to say because it'll save you time. Mm. Mm. The Queen of Cubs, a businesswoman, a female co-worker, a good advisor, a twisted female, a social butterfly. She is active, industrious, a reliable woman. She's well-liked and has a great business sense. She can represent a socially active woman who enjoys clubs, societies, social functions. She runs her home efficiently. She likes to keep busy. She's a hard worker and prefers to be an active participant. Wow. You guys can leave. Some of you guys, this might have to do with some type of social club or some shit like that. Like some type of secret society or some shit like that. 
it might be some type of sex group. Shit, a fucking cult. Shit, I don't fucking know. But this shit right here sounds like. Mm. It's like some type of organization of people, like a social group. Not necessarily like an actual group. Like just a group of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there was like some shit going on with this social group where there was a lot of crossing. Where people was fucking with each other that should not have been fucking with each other. And it's like, all right, I'm a. We ain't gonna do this no more. We ain't gonna do this no more. But you better not fucking tell my wife. I don't know. I feel like this king and queen was fucking with somebody. And it's like, all right, we ain't going to fuck with you, but you better watch your mouth and you better not tell everybody else what the fuck we be doing in this house. Or what we be doing in this social club. Mm. Poverty came out. Being someone being shut out. Change. Movement. Mature woman. Now I'm feeling like someone's being kicked out of a social group and being forced to move by the leader of this group. Curtsy while you're thinking what to say. It saves time. Like, as you moving, think about what you're going to say just in case someone asks you why we just kicked you out and made you move out of this club. Y'all see how this, this shit switched up real quick. Because now it's getting deeper. What type of... This like some type of secret society. Some type of secret organization. This is the madame. And this is the king and the madame. Or whoever this was. Was fucking with the king and the madame. Mm. The mature woman had you escorted out. By the guards. Yo. What the fuck Mo. Like you guys gonna go balls in on these motherfuckers though. Like you gonna go balls in on these motherfuckers. And they're like alright. 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 I got you. Let me escort you out of here then. What the fuck type of shit is this going on. Now y'all got me wondering what the fuck type of shit y'all into Aquarius? What type of club? What are y'all into? It's like some secret society. Oh, remember I was saying like the mafia, Scarface, the world is mine. Remember I was saying it? Oh, the bear. Force. Force. The sun. The sun. I feel like something was illuminated to you. I mean, like, something was illuminated to you. And you was like, man, I'm 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 taking y'all, I'm taking by force. The lady, the, the sun, the lady, the bear. The lady. Give me more guidance surrounding this for this the situation with this Aquarius. The sickle. I feel like some shit was illuminated. Some shit was illuminated about this lady. I feel like Y'all fearful of this lady or something. Like y'all some I mean, I don't wanna say that y'all scared. Oh, let me go to the little book. Let me go to the little book. But listen, this is what I'm getting right now. I'm getting I cause now I'm I am i am I'm trying to figure out. It's the Aquarius, the queen, the queen of clubs here. Is she the madame of this club or something? I don't 
No. But whoever this madame is, she's the one that... She is the one that calls the shots. This lady... This lady... She's the one that says who stays or goes with this ace of spades right here. That's the death card. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's the one that calls the shot. She's the one that controls everything. She's the force for one. She's the force. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like it was illuminated to you like something was brought to your attention. Or if you're this lady, something was brought to your attention where you had to take control because you're the lady of the house and you had to cut some shit out and serve someone their fate. You understand what I'm saying? Because there was some type of worries. There was some confusion and there had to be a separation. Let me, let me, oh, y'all, I'm sorry. Why y'all damn, why did y'all shit get so juicy like that? Good Lord. Good Lord Almighty. The sun. Insight. Victory. Happiness. Success. Spirit. Spirit. Grandeur. Confidence. Fame. Glory. Ego. Well-being. Vitality. Charisma. Illumination. Power. Energy. Radiance. Resolution. Success or victory in a situation. So. 15. The bear. Business, career, overwhelming, wealth, possessions, powerful, bold, strong, steady, stable, weight, heavy, solid, nutrition, government, authority, parents, something or someone overbearing, especially in business or career, which is this lady. You see what I'm saying? Which is this lady. So, like I said, like, something was illuminated to... The Aquarius. Well, they had to. They had to assert themselves. They had to take their power back. From this lady. And I want to say that they cut themselves out of a situation. To take their, to take their fate out of her hands. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because they were like. You. Oh, am I telling people business? I feel like I'm telling too much of something I shouldn't be talking about now. There's some secret society ass shit. There's some secret society ass shit. The cross, y'all. The cross. Oh, Lord Jesus. Like, y'all trying to throw my book down. Lord Jesus. The cross represents spirit, spirituality, divinity, religion, prayers, worries, guilt, sadness, despair, karma, fate, suffering, pain, test, burden, misfortune, the light and the dark, yin and yang, a situation that requires faith. Like I said, I feel like it was illuminated to somebody what was going on. And I want to say that they needed to get out of a situation because... It was third party heartbreak. It was it was too many people involved in the situation and they needed to avoid an ending. And this woman is in the middle of everything. Like this woman is in the middle of everything. Either you're the woman or this woman is in in the middle of everything. And it was illuminated to you that this person is power hungry and you had to cut yourself out of the situation and 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 Take control of things in your own hands. And I said, oh, Lord Jesus, y'all let me know what the tea is, young. Oh, I can't wait to see these comments, y'all. Give me guidance. What is this saying? It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing yourself, focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing yourself focused on another, now is time to give back to yourself. Y'all, I feel like I need a rebel card. Where's my rebel dad? Jesus. Louisa, y'all. Jesus. This is the couple's deck. I don't know. Maybe they wanted me to pull out the couple's, y'all. Wow. Jesus. Louisa's. 
Because this does say a marriage in, in the reverse. Like, ooh, honey. Give me guidance for my Cassie's. July. I'm going to mix my cards all up in the name of Jesus. Okay, I will fix them later. Give me guidance for my cappies, please. Give me guidance for my cappies. It says, let them fucking finish. Let them fucking fi finish. Interrupting is for assholes. Why do I feel like y'all about to walk in on somebody fucking or something? I feel like someone going to walk in on someone fucking. And they said, let them fucking finish. What the fuck type of shit is going on, yo? Young, y'all wildin' right now, Aquarius. Like, because right now, I swear to God, I feel like someone is in some type of secret society face. Ooh! Then it says, watch what you say. That mouth of yours could start some shit. Oh, no. I'm done. I'm done. I, I don't want nothing more to do with this Aquarius. I don't listen to me. We ain't hear this conversation, y'all. We don't know nothing about what's going on with Aquarius. We stand, uh-uh. Nope, I'm done. I'm gone. Y'all like this video? We're done. Bye.